Hello friends. Welcome to my new Java Enterprise Programming Tutorial Series video. Today, we will discuss, how to create and configure Java filters using at the rate web filter annotation. A Java filter is a server-side program that runs on a web or application servers. It dynamically intercepts and manipulate requests from a client, before a response is sent back to the client. Let's move ahead to NetBeans 8 and see how to create and configure Java filters using at the rate web filter annotation. Friends In my previous tutorial video on how to create and configure Java filters using web.xml, I have created a filter by name host filter. Link to video is provided in the description below. This filter has been explained clearly in my previous tutorial. The host filter in previous tutorial was configured through web.xml file, which is the deployment descriptor. In this tutorial, I will be teaching you a way to configure filters through annotations. Let's go to web.xml file. You see in this file host filter has been configured through filter tag and filter mapping tag. Let's remove those tags from XML and configure it directly through annotations. Let's go to host filter class. In order to configure this Java class as a Java filter, we need to provide an annotation at the class level. In this case, the annotation that configures it as a filter, is named by, at the rate web filter. This annotation is present in java.servlet.annotation package. In this annotation there are many attributes. We need to use few of the attributes to define our class as a Java filter. We select filter name from the list. To this attribute we provide the name of the filter. This is similar to the filter name tag in the web.xml file, which we discussed in previous tutorial. Let's name it as, host filter. We also have to provide URL pattern to this filter. For that, we use URL pattern attribute and provide a value to it as slash star. It signifies that all request coming to slash which is context root, goes to this filter over which annotation is placed. Go to hello world servlet and run it. Let's see whether our filter intercepts it. It starts Glassfish server and deploy application 1 to it. It executes hello world servlet and prints hello world. Let's go to server logs and see whether it printed info we logged into host filter. If you see closely in logs, it printed. Initializing host filter which we logged into init method. Thus, init method gets executed when filter initializes. Then, it prints remote host and remote port, logged into do filter method. But, destroy method logs didn't got printed. It is because filter is still loaded into memory. Let's go to services tab in NetBeans, and under server section, go to applications and undeploy application 1. Before undeploying application, server unloads filter and executes destroy method. It logs destroying host filter into the server logs. So friends, go through this video 2 to 3 times so that, how to create and configure Java filters using at the rate web filter annotation concept gets more clear to you. 
Hope you like this video. Please give one minute to like, share, comment or subscribe my channel, or you can visit my website at www.hubberspot.com.